Hello YouTube. Uh, this video I'm going to talk about the new uh, feature that Windminer has for how you uh, cash out your balance. It's uh, they added these two options over here, crypto only or flex mode. Uh, originally, uh, prior to this uh, new release, everything was flex mode. And what that meant was you can cash out your balance, they kept your balance in US dollars, and you can cash it out to uh, either a cryptocurrency, like you see over here, uh, one of the cryptocurrencies, or one of their uh, US dollar related uh, uh, accounts, like um, Amazon, Payer, PayPal, one of those, or, or the cryptocurrencies options, which were uh, Cryptopia, Coinbase, uh, Bitcoin Cash, which I think is currently in suspended mode, Ethereum, Litecoin, uh, Bitcoin. Oh, and there's also uh, a, a Steam card for a cash payout. So that was the flex mode. That was what flex mode is. Crypto only means uh, it will keep your balance in in Satoshi's, like it says over here. And uh, when you're ready to cash out, uh, you can cash out to one of the crypto only. Uh, withdrawal options on their, the web page I just showed you. So it's kind of nice. Um, there's some advantages and disadvantages to each. So when the market, when the cryptocurrency market is going down, there's an advantage to keeping it in flex mode because it keeps it in the U.S. dollars. So as the price of what you want to buy goes down, if you keep your U.S. dollars, it will be constant uh, or, or increasing as you're mining. Uh, you, of course, will get more of whatever cryptocurrency you want to buy. Uh, conversely, if the price of the cryptocurrency is going up, uh, if you keep it in a, a dollar-based uh, uh, mode, the flex mode, of course, uh, you won't be able to get as much cryptocurrency because the price has gone up and you have a fixed amount of dollars to buy it. So with crypto only, uh, if the price of the cryptocurrency goes up, you get to take advantage of that price appreciation. Uh, conversely, if cryptocurrency price goes down, you, of course, uh, are losing value. Now, the nice thing is they, and I have currently running in, uh, in crypto-only mode. You see, it does tell you the U.S. dollar equivalent. It bounces around a little bit. The other advantage they list on the website for crypto-only is that it avoids the, uh, conver the um, conversion uh, from the currency that they're mining into U.S. dollars, the transaction costs associated with that. So there should be a slight diff improvement in terms of the dollar value of what you're mining uh, when you're in crypto-only mode. So, all right, so I'm going to hit the stop button and switch it over to flex mode. We can see what the difference is in the performance, in the mining performance. So we're at 74 cents now in crypto only mode. Hit the stop button. I select flex mode. I say, yeah, I want to switch to flex mode. I hit the start button. And we'll give it a minute to uh, compute the, uh, the, uh, the performance numbers here. takes a few seconds to do that. Well, more than a few seconds. So, so I, I'm running on a GTX, <coughs> excuse me, 1070. I have two of them in my in my PC. Okay, so it's uh, computed one of them 30 cents, 37 cents a day. So in a minute it will compute the other one, which should probably be a little bit lower because it's area 36. So 72 cents. So 72 cents versus in crypto only mode, it was 74 cents. Now I have noticed in crypto only mode that it can be the difference can be a little bigger, not a lot bigger, but on the order of maybe a nickel 
or a little bit more than I saw it as high as like a dime once, a dime difference between the two. Uh, but there you go. So uh, I think it's a nice improvement. Um, uh, if it adds a little complexity for a beginner. Uh, but uh, hopefully you found this uh, informative and helpful. You can figure out how you want, for those of you using WinMiner, you can figure out uh, which mode you want to operate in and change back and forth based on your expectations for where the, the cryptocurrency market is going up or going down.